Hello, you beautiful ray of sunshine. In case you missed the video on my personal YouTube channel from earlier today, I need to let you all know that I'm gonna be undergoing a procedure tomorrow. I'll tell you what it is. As a result of that, I'm probably not gonna be making videos about pop culture, my daily recaps for a bit. I'm gonna try, if I can open my eyes and work a little bit, to do some follow-up videos about my hair restoration that I am doing at Alvi Armani. Hair rejuvenation, hair plugs, whatever you wanna call it, okay? I've had it done twice before. This will be my third and final time. The exact procedure that I'm gonna be getting done is FUE, where they take donor hair from the back here, they put it here, and I'm gonna look like a monster for a while. Afterwards, I already told my kids they are prepared for dad to look ugly, and Mia has volunteered to take care of me when I'm sick, and she said she doesn't mind because she's not afraid of scary looking things. I love her, and I love you, and I thank you all, everybody who has already sent positive vibes it's one of those things, you know, if you're a woman and you're gonna get a boob job or a nose job, you're excited about it, but you're also nervous, especially if you're getting a nose job, right? Because that's not reversible. If you get a bad nose job, there can be some correction, but if you get a really bad nose job, you're kind of, But thankfully, as I mentioned, I've been to Dr. Baubuck at Alvi Armani twice before, and he is the best, if not in Los Angeles, then in the world. Did I say that correctly? If he, he's not the best, in La He's the best in Los Angeles and not just here in the world, I think. Anyways, so now that that's out of the way, let me get straight to the pop culture recap, my daily juice for you. Let me be hydrating. <laughs> I'm drinking so much water today and eating a ton of spinach because the spinach is good for preventing inflammation and preventing unnecessary or excessive bleeding. Ah! Yesterday, our beloved Ariana Grande, because yes, I am an Arianator now, released the track listing for her upcoming album, Thank You Next, which is rumored, but not confirmed yet, to be released on Valentine's Day. Appropriate and smart for her to market it around that, especially because we're most likely gonna get a lot of love songs, which are very recent, because she released her last album, I think, six months ago? Not that long ago, but I love it. I'm not complaining, as I said, a minute ago, I am an Arianator now, so I want new music from Ari. However, one of the songs that Ariana told us we are getting off her upcoming album is called Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored. I thought Ariana supp supposedly was pro-women. That sounds like a home wrecking song to me. Even in jest, I don't find that funny. Do you? Clearly, we haven't heard the song yet, but girl, girl, it's not too late to change it. Are you really that type of woman, Ariana? I mean, she did send messages to several of her exes in the thank you next video and She probably is that kind of girl. All right, an update on Chris Brown. Some fans of Chris Brown are trying to spread the false takeaway that everything is cool with him now, but it's not. Yes, Chris Brown was released from jail, but the authorities in France are still investigating him and the accusations against him by a woman there. So he's not scot-free. It wasn't much to do about nothing. But like many abusers do, and I'm not saying he is one in this instance, I'm carefully wording myself, of course. I said accusation. Uh, like abusers, I'm not saying he is one. Although he, you know, he did abuse Rihanna, so I could call Chris Brown an abuser. Uh, like many abusers, Chris Brown is going to now sue this woman who made these allegations against him. 
And here's the wildest thing. I just cannot understand why he needed to insert himself in this conversation. Justin Bieber took to Instagram to defend Chris Brown or give him a, a, a boost, a pick-me-up, some moral support after all of the drama with him in Paris. Chris Brown left, uh, Justin Bieber left a comment on Chris Brown's, let me do that bit again, because I want to use this for a clip <laughs> to promote it, I think. This, this makes no sense to me. After the dust settled on all of the Chris Brown drama, Justin Bieber felt compelled to inject himself in this conversation and not quite defend Chris Brown, but give him a little pat on the back, some moral boosting, morale, fudge, oh my God, I gotta get it right. Ah! Imagine none of that happened, okay? I'm gonna do it third and final time, and if I don't get it right, I'm just going forward. And what really blows my mind is after all the dust settled with Chris Brown and the drama with the woman in Paris, Justin Bieber felt compelled to interject himself in the Chris Brownness of it all and took to Instagram to give him a bit of a morale boost to stroke his ego. Justin Bieber basically supported Chris Brown by saying in a comment, quote, no one can touch you, you're the goat. Would it be fair to say that Justin Bieber supports abusers? Because I would say that. Would you? And what is Justin's thinking in saying that? Whew. And that's my clip, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your patience. You know, I'm I'm like your family member, I would hope. I think of you like family, and I hope you think of me like family too. All right. I also want to talk about this Gina Rodriguez clip. And you know what? I... I'm not afraid to go there. It's important to talk about race and the difficulties specifically that people of color, the darker your skin, the worse experiences you can face in America. There is systematic racism and oppression. I understand that. But it disappoints me to see that we are tearing people down whom I don't think are the real enemy, okay? I saw that Gina Rodriguez was trending on Twitter, specifically black Twitter, just like last week I was trending on gay Twitter, and they were canceling her. It wasn't trying to educate her. It wasn't anything other than attacks and viciousness from what I saw from all the tweets that I read. And there's a lot of backstory here. Um, you know, she may have, in the eyes of a lot of black Americans, misspoken. She may have been inaccurate. She may have been selfish. She may have um, drawn false comparisons. She may have done a bunch of different things, which I'm not saying she did those things. I'm not black, clearly, but Being inconsiderate or whatever it is, does that make somebody racist? Or does that make them lacking the correct knowledge or um, the correct terminology or having the, the perspective because she's not living that experience, but she is somebody who actively employs people of color and does good. I mean, Donald Trump is anti-black and racist. Is Gina Rodriguez? You know, because she said she wanted um, a Latina girls trip. What's, what's so wrong about that? 
it's frustrating and I I'm it's also telling that a lot of her fellow actors are not speaking up about this either in her defense or criticizing her either fellow actors from what I've observed by searching the hashtag on Twitter on Dina Rodriguez, they're not speaking out at all about this. And I wish they would. I think her peers could offer a different perspective. And that's not to say that a regular black American's perspective on what Gina Rodriguez said is not valid. It's absolutely 101% valid. I specifically would love to also hear the voice and ideally voices of her peers. Speaking of actors, Alec Baldwin has been ordered to anger management after his drama fighting somebody over a parking spot. Hopefully he can finally handle all of his anger issues. On to lighter news, Cardi B has scored a Vegas club residency, a new club at the Palms Resort Casino. She is set to start in April and I can't wait. I may have to go then. I gotta find out when it is because I love Cardi. I love Vegas. I gotta make that happen. Uh, Kendra Wilkinson, some couples news. She is dating Evil Chad. Evil Chad. Remember him from The Bachelorette? This is the first guy that she's publicly been linked to since her split from now ex-husband Hank Basket. And you know what? Even though he was a villain on The Bachelorette, Chad Johnson, even villains need and deserve love too. Uh, Alyssa Milano brought up an interesting point about the MAGA hat. She says that the MAGA red cap is the new KKK hood. Do you agree with that? I do. You can be a Republican and that's one thing. And there's a lot of Republicans who begrudgingly or for whatever reason support Trump. But if you're a Trump person who wears a MAGA hat, that's a next level type of person. And I think I am in agreement with Alyssa Milano on that. Sarah Palin disagrees, but of course. I'll have the link down below to everything that I've spoken about so you can read, see, or hear more, and specifically Sarah Palin's rebuttal. And also, I was going to talk about Logan Paul, but I don't care enough. And also, I just want to be done with this video because I'm a little bit stressed about tomorrow. <laughs> Logan Paul has defended his going gay comments after apologizing. Um, but let me end things with some positive. Oh, no, I forgot about this. I'm not even going to go into it because I don't think you guys care. Do you all care about Brian Singer? Probably 1% of you. But it is important to discuss and mention, and I have on my website, Director Brian Singer has been accused by multiple people, including one on the record, previously unreported allegations, according to The Atlantic, of underage interactions with the director and young men, very young men in some instances. Inexcusable. He, of course, is denying it and says that this is an, a homophobic witch hunt against him. And I would not be surprised if he sues the reporters and the, news, the, the magazine for publishing this. We shall see. Um, but let's end things with two positive notes. James Gandolfini's son has been cast in the prequel to The Sopranos. Can they bring me back somehow? I was in an episode of The Sopranos, if you forgot. And finally, congratulations to Carrie Underwood and her husband, Mike Fisher. They have welcomed another baby into the world, a boy named Jacob Brian Fisher. <sighs> Next time you all see me, I'm going to look very different. I'm still going to make videos with scabs in my head and <laughs> looking weird AF. Thank you. 
hit the like button, leave the comment, follow, subscribe, share. I love you.